This is our uh, April Fool's Day gathering of fools, and uh, and we have a nice selection of fools here today. Uh, Moshe Yuhu Cohen is here. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Michelle No Can Do Engu Dobbs is here. Give us a honk. <laughs> I smile. Miko is here from Finland, and we love Finland. We per- we particularly love Finland today. <laughs> and uh, Ovidio, the Ovidiot, is uh, from the border of uh, Uruguay in southern southern Brazil is here with us. Right. Or northern, On the northern top of Brazil. a farm here. Oh, yeah. On the top of a very nice farm. There's a clown truck over there. And yeah. uh, our uh, Tutu uh, Fitzgerald and Peter Cuckoo Cunningham are both here. <laughs> And we don't know which Woo-hoo! one is which. We don't know which one is which, so we're going to ask them to put on name tags. So, uh, yes, please. <laughs> so, so with that, I'm going to hand this over uh, to my brother uh, and uh, clown clown uh, mentor uh, Michelle No Can Do Engu Dobbs uh, to uh, take us into the day and let's have some fun. You know, I think it would be best to start off with with the, uh, the traditional Hasana meditation of the order of disorder, just to raise the energy a little bit. So tra- traditionally, which was a word that Bernie really liked, um, the, the Hasana meditation, you start with yourself. So. You should think of yourself at your very silliest moment. Last week, I wore two different pairs of shoes into work, one on each foot. It was one of my sillier moments ever. Could you un- could you stop transcribing it? <laughs> so think of yourself, and and as you exhale, repeat these phrases. May I laugh? May I laugh? May I laugh? May I be silly? May I be silly? Silly. Silly. (laughs) Silly. (laughs) May my heart be open. May my heart heart be be open. 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 Great. Now, if you find it difficult or if you find resistance arising, then too bad. Um, Just get on with it. So (laughs) now I'm going to start with uh, with our our order of disorder, the goofy gate of delight. The goofy gate of delight. Falling out to goofy hearts everywhere through endless time. You who chuckle, you who fart. I offer you a silly time. Falling out to goofy spirits everywhere through endless time. Calling out to Goofy Heart, all the serious and the less than fine. Gather round, we'll have a laugh. Your joys I'll take, and you take mine. The most basic desire we have is for happiness. Everything we do in some way is done so as to achieve our goal, this goal. Even breaking precepts is done with a mistaken idea that it will lead us to happiness. But there is one source of human fulfillment and one source of authentic happiness. That one source is Taking refuge 
I take refuge in being a fool, conscious of my foolishness. To that extent, I'm wise. And that's all the foolishness I can take. If there can be said to be an odd lineage, it includes all of you, every square, every panel on my phone here, without exception. And nevertheless, we recognize certain ones, by no means the only ones, but only certain ones who have attentively played with disorder and brilliantly made us laugh and cry. We invoke them to join us and to witness and bless these senseless activities today. So, a Bronx cheer. <laughs> the following knuckleheads and lunatics. Rio Kandaigu, what a buffoon. Nagarjuna, what a buffoon. Mula Nasruddin, what a buffoon. Voltaire, what a buffoon. Joseph Grimaldi, what a buffoon. Piero, what a buffoon. Maturin, what a buffoon. Lanny Bruce, what a buffoon. Dick Gregory, what a buffoon. Carol Burnett, what a buffoon. Red Fox, what a buffoon. Fanny Bryce, what a buffoon. Richard Pryor, what a buffoon. The Dalai Lama, what a buffoon. Philip Gaulier, what a buffoon. Wavy Gravy, what a buffoon. And to Mr. Yuhu, what a buffoon. Uti Sattva, what a buffoon. Cuckoo Sama, what a buffoon. And to the great joy and well-being of the greatest cat herder in the history of cat herding, <laughs> the only one so foolish that he occasionally organizes the order of disorder, and thus, thanks to whom we are here together today, Maestro Hachu, what a buffoon. What a buffoon. <laughs> what a buffoon. <laughs> My dear Yuhu, what a buffoon. <laughs> Will you do an exercise? An exercise? Oh. Not, not too difficult, please. Not too difficult. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, oh, okay, I'll do I'll do an exercise. Uh, okay, everybody. Hands. Wingle fingers. <laughs> Good, good, good. Now close, open, close, open. Mouse at the same time. Okay, that was a very foolish thing. Uh, and now for a more seriously foolish thing, we're just gonna take a moment to rub our hands together. I'd like you all to rub your hands together and just for a short moment, you're gonna close your eyes while you're rubbing your hands together and you're going to do the very boring thing of listening to your breath. Where is it going in your body? Mm. Uh, is it going into your chest or into your stomach? Uh, wherever it's going is fine. But now direct it to your belly. Mm. Breath in the belly, rubbing hands. Your arms are getting tired. So you're going to separate your hands just a tiny bit. And you're going to listen to the space in between your hands. And lo and behold, there might be some vibrations going back and forth between your hands. Can you feel it? Oh, if you can feel it, nod your head or shake your head, whichever you like, or go around with your head. Okay, bringing in the foolishness. Let's bring the foolishness into your hand rubbing. Please explore any method of foolish hand rubbing that you can devise. Make it up on the spot, anything. Uh, and now just to be even more foolish, add your voice to it and make some foolish sounds at the same time. Excellent, excellent. Okay, and now separate your hands slightly. Do you feel the energy there? Oh, please demonstrate how that energy feels in your body. 
some expression oh good 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 especially the people who have their screen shut down you're looking great okay good 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 <laughs> uh, and now we're gonna take this energy and we're gonna throw it into space all at the same time are you ready three two one and <laughs> Well, that was that was very foolish, I do believe. Um, uh, let me ask the expert. Uh, yeah, yeah, the expert says it. Oh, definitely. Okay. Uh, uh, that was one exercise, uh, Angu Dobbs uh, Jr. I got another one later. <laughs> okay. Good. 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 Well, well, can the chicken lead it? Who's the chicken? Uh, I don't know. Okay, good. He's he's an good, expert good. in not knowing. Expert in not knowing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So now, cuckoo. Moi. Moi. You uh so moi. uh moi. You like moi. my new hat? My first day with my new hat. Ooh, ooh la la. Yeah. Uh, so I played yesterday with this book that we did a while ago that's impossible to read. And so it has pages. This one is the Fromage to the Meshuganas, the Origin of Odd. And it goes with this picture, but I was kind of tired of the way I, I, I discovered while I was photographing it that you could just take a signature of the book and kind of hold it up in the middle here. And if I find an appropriate one, uh you can actually get different combinations of pictures which of course that completely fascinated me and i lost the last 24 hours doing this so um, i'm going to <laughs> Wait a uh, what a marketing idea it's uh, like a new that's book. pretty foolish i like it oh host is disabled we'll screen one. sharing jeff i need the screen share <laughs> Come, come maybe we'll sell you. another one if you let people know <laughs> you got that coming, Jeff? Uh, take a look. Do you, ha do you have it yet? Uh, yeah, I do. There I you do. go. Yeah. Where the hell is that one? Uh, uh, is that it? Uh, no, that's all the people. No, it's something will happen. Don't worry. <laughs> something will happen. Ah, here. This is it. Oh. Uh, oh. So I'm going to go Whoa. through this quickly. So, uh, so keep your microphones open. If you have anything to say, speak up. So here's, here's our mission statement. And here's our vision statement. Is, is that clear to everyone? <laughs> Why? Why? This is Bernie and, and Ari sleeping on the Staten Island Ferry. Why? Why? Why not? <laughs> oh, here, Jeff, this is, I thought on these precepts, you read the second part, though. So this is the Zen peacemaker precept, speaking what I perceive to be the truth. This is the precept of not elevating myself and blaming others. <laughs> Jeff, you got that? Okay. Do you want me to? You. You. I got you it. You read uh, the second one. Telling it like it, it seems to be. This is the precept of paying your respects and joining in the fun. Why, Why not? <laughs> ah, Moshe, this is yours to read. Uh, forget about it. Give me a break. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, penance. Ah, here we go again, Jeff. Recognizing that I am not separate from all that is, this is the precept of non-killing. Seeing that I am at least as goofy as you are, this is the precept of not killing anything by taking it too seriously. Why so serious? <laughs> <laughs> this is self-explanatory. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? Uh, Ain't it the truth? <laughs> that was Booby Sattva making an appearance. It was down in in Chiapas where Moshe led us. Can you guys see the right hand screen? I, I don't know. Yeah, be unprepared. Yeah, that's the motto of the order of disorder. 
Always be unprepared. Take it very seriously. <laughs> this is a part of the of the fromage to the mashuganas. We did a we did a uh, workshop at uh, the village Zendo. Oh, we've yes. Never, we've never been invited back. No, we. <laughs> is that a I don't know. <laughs> Jeff, can you see this well? And this is the one long one. I thought we might read. Can you read it? Yeah, I can. Uh, one day, Chao Cho, or Joshu, and his attendant, Wen Yang, were sitting around the monastery. Chao Cho had an idea. Wen Yang, let's have a contest to identify ourselves as the worst thing imaginable. The winner has to buy a cake for the loser. Wen Yang said, oh, what fun. You start, teacher. Chao Cho, said, uh, he, st he started and he said, Okay, I'm nothing but a donkey. Wen Yan replied, A donkey? What a privilege. I'm just a donkey's ass. Zhao Zhou said, Actually, I dreamed that I could one day be a donkey's ass. For now, I'm what comes out of the donkey's ass. <laughs> Wen Yan said, Bye bye, aren't you lucky one? I'd give anything to be what comes out of a donkey's ass. I'm just a worm living in what comes out of a donkey's ass. And do you know why I'm here? And Chao Cho said, why? <laughs> Wen Yuan replied, I wanted to go somewhere special for my summer holiday. <laughs> With this line, Wen Yuan won the competition and had to buy Chao Cho some cake. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> now I see. <laughs> Now I see. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Bearing witness to emotions that arise, this is the precept of not holding on to anger. And the seeing, order of disorder translation is? Seeing what comes up, then grinning and bearing it all, this is the precept of living in joy. Amen. Amen. Yay. Amen. Maybe so. Could you read this one, Jeff? Translation, don't just sit there. Do something. Something <laughs> El based... Mundo, do something. <laughs> El Mundo, do something. Something <laughs> based in not even not knowing and then waiting a minute. <laughs> Aimless. Ah. The Dalai Lama, what a buffoon. <laughs> woof, woof. That on the right, that was actually Bernie's Buddha. He had it with him everywhere. Oh, I think therefore I am. Oh, I, I thought and then I wasn't. Wake up. Really, Cans, this is not a joke. You can do it. No, I mean, really, you can. You can. Please wake up. <laughs> oh, there he woke up. Look, he's being serious. Uh, this one, Shobo Gonzo, that's, uh, that's uh, Maizumi Roshi's brother, uh, Junyo at ZCLA, and a rabbit on the left. Do you want to do that one, Jeff? Uh, I can't see all of the words, Cuckoo. Uh, pretend, pretend you can. To realize the OD Dharma is to realize yourself. Maybe I can see it. To realize yourself is to forget yourself. To forget yourself is to forget lots of other stuff. Like why you went to the store <laughs> or where you left your cell phone or to set the alarm. When this falls away, that falls away too this and that. All traces of delightment and the falling away of delighted delightment even falls away. Other parts of your body may follow too, or at least droop off. Amen. <laughs> Gonzo Cohen. The face of odd. Oh, um, there they all Michelle, are. Would you do this one, Michelle? 
I can't. It's on my phone. Oh. Yeah. It's too hard. That's okay. But anyway, this is the face of odd. You read it. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be chanted properly. This one so seems hard funny. to work with since that <laughs> New Yorker article. It's, I, I, everyone should, by the way, read the, the, the New Yorker article in which um, Peter Cuckoo Cunningham became very famous and now he's hard to work with. It's but really he was funny. actually hard to work with before. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it, it will explain why he won't take your calls anymore. <laughs> I don't answer the phone. <laughs> Disorder. This and that are not two. Oh, what do you think? Should we? Re this one might be fun to read. Yeah, I can do this one. Uh, wait, somebody, somebody's at the door. I gotta let them in. Okay, I'll do let this. Uh, Delight <laughs> is and has been transmitted openly through all space and time, depending on your reception. <laughs> when you smile, giggle, chortle, or laugh with all your might, you get D, all pervasive, never dimming light. Keep your head empty and your heart open, and D light will be found in the sparkle of an eye or heard in the raspy wail of a well played kazoo. Uh, I don't have one here. Um, <laughs> Thank you. When you notice delight, get lost in it, play in it, breathe in it, delight in delight. It has been transmitted here now from you to me and me to you and to all beings every time and everywhere. Wow. It's so good to have a professional in our midst. No disturbances. This and that are not one. Here's a bunch of sheep. <laughs> ah, this one. I'll read this one. There's another bunch of bunch of sheep. <laughs> this is actually from the uh, Women's March at when when what was when Trump was elected, and yeah. this is the bathroom at the uh, Grand Central Station. The lineup. So uh, it's actually translated from the Ramay Ramayana. There are three real things, the absolute, the holy, and the availability of bathrooms. The first two are beyond our knowing. So we should do what we can about the third. <laughs> uh, it's a thing. Uh, <laughs> these are your dignified hosts. And that's the principle of not stealing anything unless you think you can get away with it. And finally, I think, chaste conduct. <laughs> Remembering to put my pants on. This is the precept of not being misbehaving too much. Bernie kept forgetting to put his pants on. I think that's it. Oh, this is the last. This is the last picture and a lesson in something or other. Not knowing and bearing witness. This was yesterday. I was trying to make these pictures, and I got myself a cup of coffee, and was trying to decide what to put in my coffee. There was a tomato <laughs> there, so I put a tomato in my coffee. And this is the, going to be the beginning of a new series I'm going to photograph, which will be a series of things that should really never go together. Beautiful. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I smile. <laughs> Hello, smile. everyone. Hello. This is Ismail from Finland. <laughs> I'm the idiot who's who's entertaining the people after the Auschwitz, the Auschwitz retreat in Poland. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> Woo I promise to show some magic and do a con for everyone. So I need to set up this a little bit. I needed something to 
work like snowflakes for this one. And I have a friend who works at the bureau office and he works with this uh, hole punch, you know. Yeah. And I know that he has lots of those holes, those white holes, and I thought that <laughs> that might work. So I asked him that, could, Jaco, could you please bring me those hole punch holes? I need them. And he said that I, I will not be able to give them just like that. I need to ask my foreman. So he went to the foreman and the foreman said that, well, maybe we could, but we need to ask the manager. And so they went to the manager and the manager said, well, maybe we could, but we don't know. We need to ask the supervisor. So they went to the supervisor and the supervisor said, well, of course, it's my belongs to my sauna group. So of course you can give them. So let's, let's move along. I got a whole cup full of those flakes. So let's see how it works. See? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Magic. Magic. <laughs> wow. Okay. So now comes the common. I need some pens. Okay. So imagine you're on an island. That's you. Okay. So in the middle of the island, there's a large cat, a lion. See that? And surrounding the island, there are sharks. So you're on an island. Imagine you're on an island with a large lion and sharks around it. What do you do? <laughs> Move to Finland. <laughs> no, you're still on an island. <laughs> but the sharks are freezing. <laughs> maybe, maybe. What else? Barbara. Yes. What do you do? eat the cat <laughs> no it will eat you you will die draw a bridge no i will not i will not help you <laughs> <laughs> wow you're like this is like a real then go on <laughs> yeah yeah you're all zenies you have all done this so <laughs> better answers no no you stop imagining <laughs> oh. That's it. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Eat the strawberry. Very good. Yes. Stop <laughs> imagining. Thank you so much. Thank you. How is how is the weather? Oh, it's cold. It's still freezing and lots of snow. Hey. Wow. You're always welcome. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, thanks. <laughs> hey, Yuhu, do you have another exercise for us? Uh, I was just thinking about that. I do, but it, it's going to require, um, it's going to be difficult for a few of you because of um, where you are, uh, because you require a, a piece of paper to do this exercise. Uh, some type of, uh, preferably some official letter from the tax bureau telling them that you owe them a lot of money, but it could be anything. And uh, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to look for delight in uh, the idea of frustration. Uh, so this is going to uh, require your imagination that this piece of paper, whatever you're holding, is uh, symbolic of something in your life that at this moment is really kind of frustrating. And the idea is that you're going to take complete, absolute delight in tearing it into pieces. 
and there will be one thing that happens at the end. So uh, first, uh, does everybody have their paper? You can hold it either vertically or you can hold it sideways as you like. And imagine this. What does this represent for you? And I'd like you just a sound of, ugh, I just don't like this. Right. Ah, 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 Invite your humor yeah, into ah, that sound. Yeah. Ah, yeah. And now, with that sound, I'd like you to try. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, ah, excellent. And yes, yeah. yes. Again, tearing it up a second time. And no, we're not done yet. And yes. Oh, this is wonderful. You're doing great, everybody. And again, and And you will notice now that as the piece of paper gets smaller, it is more difficult to tear it up and allow your frustration of being unable to. And success. And stop before it gets too difficult because now you have a chance to celebrate the destruction with a great throw in the air of confetti that you just made. Are you ready? A one, a two, a three, and... (laughs) (laughs) And I messed up your house. Complete disorder. All right. Thank you. Oh! Oh, and if you don't know that uh, uh, we, uh, in the order of disorder, we do uh, bow, but we bow very reverently because we bow backwards. And I just like to do a short instruction. It looks something like this. The hands come together and then the whole being looks up into the sky because you are opening up your complete vulnerability. And let's try it together on three. Are you ready? Oh, one. A two, a three, and whoosh. All right. Uh, uh, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Two, uh, two. No can Stop do. Stop drinking. Yeah. <laughs> What's in that oh. cup? Coffee. Oh, oh. okay. Oh. Go ahead. Okay, so, um, Years ago, I had a colleague who, I, I, he was such a wonderful teacher. I used to go and listen to him sometimes, Larry Eric, and he was teaching actors. And one day he said, you know, class, if you step on a banana peel, it's tragedy. If I step on a banana peel, it's comedy. <laughs> so, oh, ah, it got me thinking about bananas yesterday thinking about bananas (laughs) i'm the first banana (laughs) first banana number one first banana in the sun i'm the first banana watch me twirl second banana (laughs) the first banana first banana number one first banana in the sun first banana watch me twirl oh by the way, did you see my HBO special? Succession of the Banana Panna Fofan! Oh, second banana! Get me my agent. What is this thing with the second banana? You represent me! This isn't supposed to happen. Yes, I'm upset. I'm the first banana. The second banana. When I catch a glimpse, she looks just like me, just younger. Second banana, what do you mean? Consider the second banana's point of view. What do you mean? I don't know everything. What are you 
talking about? You work for me. I'm the first banana. The first banana. Second banana. No, I, I, I never was a second banana. Watch me work. I'm the first banana. First banana. <laughs> I'm the first banana. No. First banana in the sun. First banana, watch me twirl. First banana. First banana. What's an agent without a banana? <laughs> Thank you so much, Tutu and Cuckoo, who knew that you such a backup singer you are and banana eater. <laughs> talents, really talents revealed. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, let's from from the cold and 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 snowy thin fin, finished shores. We're going to go to the um, bright and sunny uh, Uruguayan border and and join Ovidiot, the commissar of South American odd. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Well, you know, I'm well. I'm 75 years old. And uh, two months ago, I spent uh, 12 hours in the hospital for the first time. Not too bad, right? 75 years old. But uh, I think I wrote uh, a narrative about my stay in the hospital that I think illustrates very well the importance of the principles of the order of the disorder, right? And, uh, you know, in my life now, I work two days a week only for six months a year. The rest of time is vacation and I have uh, grandchildren in Paris. I spend a lot of time there. So, you know, just to give you an idea, and I'm this beautiful surroundings now. Well, uh, so, I, you know, during uh, January of this year, while treating a bad case of pneumonia at home, the chest tomography to check my progress showed I had some coron coronary artery plaques. To make a long story short, I underwent investigative cardiac catheterism and as a result had four stents placed. A stent is a small tube typically used to hold open passages in narrowed arteries. I had no previous symptoms of uh, heart disease, though I had been at risk and I did not know, right? Therefore, in this sense, I was lucky to have pneumonia that led me to place the stents because now I have low coronary risk. So uh, it immediately reminded me of the famous Zen story about what is good luck, what is bad luck. So now I have my own famous, I have my own personal story to, say, to tell about what's good luck, what's bad luck. Right? Okay, so my health insurance plan is a very good one. I am one of the owners. Yes, you know, we are a co-op of doctors and I'm a member, so I'm, you know, part owner of the plan. Like most insurance plans, it's running a deficit in those post-COVID times. So when I woke up from the anesthesia after two hours and the surgeon told me, that I had a, a, a four stand procedure. My first words, believe me, I looked at him and I said jokingly, oh boy, this is going to cost a four plan. <laughs> I'm not very happy. You know, in the United States, 
it would cost at least like sixty thousand dollars. You know this uh, procedure. So he he also thought it was funny anyway. But you know now comes the 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 part that uh, is more complex. You know I had to stay overnight. You know that's normal protocol in the recovery room. And I want you to understand why I called it the Rick Horrible Room. It's Rick Horrible Room. You know, first attached to my left arm, there was a blood pressure cuff that would inflate every 15 minutes, causing me tremendous pain. Well, I knew from experience, you know, that was not normal. That was, you know, too, too tight. So I told the nurse, that uh, uh, you know, this I could not bear that uh, cuff the way it oh, but you know it's necessary. Uh, only the doctor uh, could change that. So I said, okay. So you call the doctor, and uh, the doctor came, and uh, uh, oh boy, instead of taking a few breaths. I said to the doctor, you know, this is not possible. I cannot tolerate such a pain every 15 minutes. And if necessary, I'm going to discharge myself of the hospital. You know, anybody can discharge himself from the hospital, especially I'm being a doctor, no problem. So the doctor said uh, I was not, I was being irresponsible, which I replied, well, I am not, I'm not going to stay there to be tortured. Anyway, the recovery room, you know, uh, well, after we had this very big exchange, angry exchange, both of us calmed down. He understood, you know, he understood. I was not refusing to have to measure my blood pressure. You no, know, they understood, you know, I don't want this. No, I said, you know, I don't want it to be so tight. So, you know, I want it to be adjusted. So they put, I, I, I don't even know it was possible. They had the, the, the blood pressure measure. So that was perfect because, you know, it, 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 it didn't uh, hurt. Well, once this was done, my wife is here, you know, she is watching the, the, my presentation and uh, she cannot test a strong exchange between myself and the doctor and then you know, we ended up good friends exchanging tips about beer and cigars, you know, so that was about that. Then I realized, you know, I had another problem. I needed to pee and my right arm where the catheter was inserted, my right arm was immobilized with a heavy bandage to heal the wound. Well, my left arm also had a needle inserted to provide easy access to emergency medications in case I needed. It also hurt a lot to move my left arm and I had electrodes with, you know, attached to my chest where you have uh, chest uh, hair. And, you know, it was horrible. They didn't, they should have shaved me. So when you move the arm, yeah, you know, it's, you know, men know how it hurts, you know, to have uh, bandages to, attach it to a hair in the chest. Anyway, you know, I, you know, I needed to pee and, uh, you know, my both hands were, you know, uh, what, what do you do, man? You know, then I needed the order of the disorder to help me, you know. Well, I, I didn't, you know, I was also, I was lying on the bed, on my back with a couple of blankets to protect them from the freezing temperature, temperatures in the recovery room. So, I deal with nurse, that had to be done to make complete and take few deep breaths and tolerate intense pain in the left arm. I was uh, I was able to relieve myself. After I just had to ask the nurse to change. You know, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. At the at the climax of the story, and then he disappears. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I 
beard. Oh, this left. is the best story ever. <laughs> and he got oh. relief. He got relief. Wait. Oh, uh, boy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask Jerry Schifrin to, to finish the story. Jerry, finish the story for us. What happened to Ovidia? <laughs> uh, Hello. I'm back now. Oh, good. Oh, oh. Thank God. You <laughs> left us hanging. I'm back. I know that. I think, I think it is the energy. That's the energy of uh, my narrative. It was an incredible narrative. We were going to have Jerry Schiffrin finish the story for us when you, because you dropped off. Who's that? <laughs> I think we have That's a French Michel Dubois. <laughs> Michel Dubois Michel? could finish the story. He's here in Michel front of Dubois. me. I can testify that he's alive. He has survived it all. I think someone. I think I'm I'm parting of the fool's day. They are sabotaging. You guys are sabotaging <laughs> the presentation to have fun. That's okay. <laughs> I deserve it. I deserve it. Uh. Hey, Michel Dubois, are you busy rioting in France? What are you doing? Can you unmute yourself and tell us about your uprising? You're muted. T -t -t on t'entend pas, Michel. Michel, on t'entend oh. pas. Okay, here oh. you are. <laughs> there you are. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't put it in my phone and I forgot, you know, and then oh. I gave an appointment uh, to with the with the uh, head of the, uh, the 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 nun who was with me is the head of the um, of the um, how do you call it uh, of the the Buddhists who are going to prison the, the chaplaincy she's the, she's a, yes. the head of the of the chaplaincy and uh, and I and I forgot and I said let's go there's a there's a movie about uh, restorative justice. And we went to see a movie, a, a, a French movie, a French film about restorative justice. And then, then before I go to cinema, I said, "Oh shit!" <laughs> it's at the same, the same hour. You know, I am an, uh, I am a true fool. I am an ADD person, and it's it's getting harder and harder. You know, uh, with with the years, you know, I I forget more things. Uh, I, I I get crazier you know uh uh the the only the only good thing in my life is i i i found the the book uh by gabor mate about attention deficit disorder and he says something very true he says that we always look we we always try to look normal <laughs> and i stopped i i'm stopped i'm stopping trying to look normal <laughs> you know, and I'm saying it to people. <laughs> I'm saying to people, you know, I have this problem. You know, <laughs> forgive me. Uh, I forget things. Uh, I'm completely disorganized, uh, and uh, and I'm trying to do too too many things because I also have the the uh, hyperactivity business. You know, and uh, and that's it. So uh, so forgive me for being for being late. I lost my nose. <laughs> I kept oh, losing I my nose. I lost there. my red nose. It's, uh, it's still there. It's still there. Have a glass yeah. of wine. <laughs> but you know, but you guys, you know, I want. But I wanted to. I wanted to catch. I wanted to catch this, this Zoom because I love you guys. Uh -huh. You know, we I want you. you to know. That I love you all. You, you are you. in my heart. We'll, we love you, Michelle. So lovely to see you. <laughs> oh, this is a, this is your. I love I love you. I love you at peace. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michelle, that's a beautiful story. Thank you. 
Well, you know, it's it's my it's my it's my story and it's my history. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know. So, uh, well, I should tell I should tell Jeff, don't let me do too many things. <laughs> you know, because I accumulate things to do, and uh, and Ghana, I'm. Uh, I'm I'm not so I'm not that young anymore. So no, you're pretty is, young. You're pretty young. Go and yeah. riot. Go riot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm in the street of Paris, uh, near near Gare de Lyon, not far from La Bastille. Uh, oh. And uh, wow, Mister You Who, wow. <laughs> uh, 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 you know, oh wow, wow! I'm I'm seeing all you, all of you, wow! What a what a, what a lovely crowd you are, and we have we, there are many of us, wow! There's more than you can fit on a phone. Oh, yeah, really. well, well, I'm I'm I'm. What a lot to people on phones. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Achu, give us a status update. What's going on in in the Rockies? Well, uh, it's it's uh, they're big. The Rockies are big. <laughs> and okay, they're thank you very much. <laughs> and they're really hard. <laughs> but but, but I, I I would like to share something that uh if, if I could take a moment, no can you? Please to, please. And I, take I, two I, moments. I wish I wrote this myself. Many of you probably have heard this before, but I didn't write it. But I thought it was appropriate for April Fool's Day. This was written by Jenny Joseph in 1961 in uh, in the UK, and Jenny said. When I am an old woman, I shall wear purple with a red hat, which doesn't go and doesn't suit me. And I shall spend my pension on brandy and summer gloves and satin sandals and say that we've no money for butter. I shall sit down on the pavement when I'm tired and gobble up samples in shops and press alarm bells and run my stick along the public railings and make up for the sobriety of my youth. I shall, go, I shall go out in my slippers in the rain and pick flowers in other people's gardens and learn to spit. You can wear terrible, you can wear terrible shirts and grow fat and you can eat three pounds of sausages at one go or eat only bread and pickle for a whole week and hoard pens and pencils and beer mats and things in boxes. But now we must have clothes that keep us dry and we must pay our rent and not swear in the street. We must set a good example for the children. We must have friends to dinner and read the papers. But maybe I ought to practice a little bit now. So when people who know me are not too shocked and surprised when suddenly I am old and I start to wear purple. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Beautiful. So, please wear purple. And learn to Purple. spit. Learn to spit. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back to you, no can do. Uh, but you know, I'd like to 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 because there are lots of people here. I'd like to hear from all of you. All at once. <laughs> all at once. But <laughs> first, first, I'm going to tell you about. This was a recently discovered um, Theravadan text. It's called the So You Want to Get Out of Here Sutra. 
uh, and and it goes like this: all discourse about the nature of reality is nonsense. Actually, it is nonsense. It isn't nonsense. It both is and isn't nonsense, and it neither is nor isn't nonsense. Everything I just said isn't true. Actually, that is true. It isn't true. It both is and isn't true, and it neither is nor isn't true. And finally, all the stuff about the truth is also nonsense. So that's the so you want to get out of here, Sutra. Uh, and, and I, and now I'd like to open it up. If you got a question, raise your hand. Jeff, could you? I can't really, you know, herd cats like you. Can you herd cats? I can herd cats. Meow. Uh, uh, there are two screens of people, so I can't see your regular hand. But if you go down to the reactions, and and you can uh, raise your electronic hand, uh, or you can just unmute yourself and start talking. <laughs> That would be disorderly. Roland. Is Roland waving his hand? Roland raised his hand. I saw it. Uh, Roland, you're called out. <laughs> he raised both his hands. Yay. No hiding anymore. <laughs> I see you. Somebody has something out there. Question? Comment something. No, no can do. No can do. Where yeah. are you? Where are you? Yeah. I don't know. Somewhere in the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm in your neck of the woods. Uh, your your neck of the woods, your summer place, you know. The, where you the got graveyard in Queens? Summer. Graveyard in Queens? A graveyard in Queens. No, I'm not. I'm here. Look. Oh. oh, oh my gosh, you really are. Oh, that is our yeah. city. I'm in the city. Yeah. I'm about to go and, and take care of my mother. So I'll tell you an order of disorder story. Last week, we, we, we ate dinner. We spent the day together on Saturday and we ate dinner and we were sitting watching TV and she turned to me and she said, so have you heard anything from your parents? <laughs> <laughs> And I said, well, from one of them, I hear quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> and, and she said, really, which one? And I said, my mother, that's you. And she thought about it for a second and she said, oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so that was uh, order of disorder story. And we laughed um, <laughs> and, and yeah, it was a good dinner too, but she forgot. So oh, uh, nobody, does anyone else have anything? Come on. Jimmy <laughs> Schmendrix. Jimmy Schmendrix, what are you doing here? Say a word. All right. Actually, I got something good. Um, recently, I heard a Dharma talk by uh, Tatsudo Roshi. And um, she talked about, as an aside, the uh, abbot of the Green Gulch Monastery in California created an artificial intelligence Roshi named Roshi Bot that has been trained with the teachings of uh, Shunryu Suzuki. And uh, I've been playing around with Roshi Bot. And um, actually, there's quite a few uh, intriguing and insightful comments Roshi Bot makes, but Roshi Bot's jokes are not very funny. So I, I was hoping maybe the uh, order of disorder could help to train Roshi Bot to um, perform better in the humor department. Oh. <laughs> well, then we'll be putting ourselves out of a job. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't believe in intelligence of any kind, I don't think, artificial or otherwise. Is, is that right? Is that our, our statement? <laughs> artificial I <know>. silliness. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, I don't maybe know. What do I know? Maybe. Maybe Moshe could write a program called Closhy Bot. <laughs> <laughs> My imagination. Send it over. Send it over. We'll work on it. 
So, All so right, I yeah. is, it, is it possible to put it in the sink and fill it with water? And, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh -oh. and Morrow, I, I see you there. Hi. Yeah, hi. hi. So, so I got a suggestion for your bots. Here you go. Here's something to program in. It's a Dalai Lama joke. Okay, everybody? Ready. Yeah. Uh, the, the Dalai Lama is walking in Times Square. He's a little hungry. He goes over, he sees a hot dog stand. And what does he say to the hot dog vendor? Anybody? Give me one with everything. Make oh, me one with everything. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> Roshi bought, Make Roshi me one bought, with uh, Roshi bought <laughs> actually knew that joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, yeah. and, and, and then and then Bernie came along and said, "Make me one with nothing." So so there you go. <laughs> hey Jitsu Joe, Jitsu Joe, come on, jump in, come on, buddy, get off that couch. <laughs> All right. All right. So one of the all-time residents, Bert Wettinson, he just passed away, and he was super order a disorder. And one time during the pandemic, he was my neighbor. I walked out of my apartment and he was like, oh, thank God you're here. And he's walking in the hallway with an iPad. And I was like, what's up? And he's like, uh, he's pointing in the iPad. He's like, I'm trying to find here. And I was like, in the iPad? And he was like, I just cannot find here. And I was like, in the iPad. And he was like, look. And so he showed me, he was like on YouTube and he, there was like a list of comments and he was confused because the comments were from like 2018. And I don't know if he quite understood like the whole, anyway, so I was trying, I got sucked in to like try and explain to him about chats and YouTube. And so he's like, he got really frustrated with me. And he was like, look, I'm just trying to find here. And I was like, Bert, we're here, we're right here. And in that moment, he looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got. Thank you. Hey. That was actually oh, perfect. dear Bert. Bless his soul yeah, or whatever yeah. is left. Lorraine. Hi. Lorraine's got a haiku for us, I bet. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> no haiku. You have but an like, odd haiku? No, I, they're, 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 they're all odd. Um, uh, <laughs> what, what, I, what I do have, actually, um, is an emergency chicken. <laughs> Whoa! I was, I was going to put the link in the in 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 the chat, but yes, you can do. Uh, and here we have the different options. Peep. We can't read it. You can't read it. It's not good. It's making a noise. It is. Oh. Anyway. The Zoom isn't picking it up. Oh, okay. But this is, you know, you, you, you never know, right? When you just need to have an emergency chicken. You know, just saying. Hey, what is that? That's an emergency clown nose. Exactly. <laughs> thank you. It hasn't been open. Yeah, thank you. I'll send you this. You send me your chicken. You got <laughs> How about a Ferrari? Anybody need a Ferrari? Oh, definitely, definitely. Thank you. Alice, Alice yeah, you, 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 you have your hand up. <laughs> Alice, go ahead. Hi, everybody. I'm seeing so many friends. It's great. And this is um, wonderful. I'm, I'm in Lone Pine, California, the home of Mount Whitney, the highest mountain in the 48 states. And this morning I went out and I climbed Mount Whitney. Wow. I climbed, I climbed from the parking lot up to the gate at the trailhead. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! 
<laughs> How much snow do you have, Alice? We have 718 inches of recorded snow at Donner Summit as of this morning. I used to live there, I know. I know. So that, guys, for you who are in metric, that's over 19 meters of snow that's fallen this year. 19 meters. Think uh -oh. about it. So climbing Mount Whitney this morning, I'd show you the picture, but my it's you can't see it from here. But Mount Whitney is drop dead gorgeous this morning. Oh, so. wow. well, that's oh a, nice. That's a lot of snow. Don't say we never gave you anything. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody told you. Oh, you got I told you what's with your umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where, where did she go? Where'd she go? Where showed you? <laughs> Ta -da! Very nice. Very nice. There, Looney. Looney Luminous. Whoa! Hey there, hey there all! Hi! I have, you... a, I, have a, I have a story. I don't know if it's too funny. Are you but, in a pumpkin? Uh, Are you in a pumpkin? I'm in a pumpkin. I'm in a vortex of spiral energy there. Oh, that's so, funny. Wow! Yeah, it's, I took... It, this is either that or a pumpkin. This is a picture of the inside of a golden flute. Oh, very cool. A golden yeah. retriever? Golden flinch. Oh, a golden flinch. Yep, yep, that's it. Yep. Duck is a duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I I my partner and I I had to watch the invasion of the body snatchers recently because I've had uh bronchial pneumonia all winter here. And uh and I made this sound. You know, ah! And he didn't know what I was doing. And I'm like, we got to watch the invasion of the body snatchers. At the very end of the movie, he understood why I was making that sound. <sighs> so, uh, <yeah. laughs> what to do Thank when you can't you. breathe. <laughs> are, are you better? Yeah, slowly get better. I'm weak. Good. I'm wimpy, wimpy, but weak. But uh, I'm not coughing like I was and no more wheezing. So Body Snatcher's been uh, thrown up, dispelled. Good. <laughs> Feel better. It's so, so great to see you all. And Michelle Dubois in France. Great to see you. Ah. Uh, salut, Michelle. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I have to step. Hey, York. I have to step off the call, but I just wanted to wave goodbye. Ah. <laughs> 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 Hi, Jeff. Yes, you, Jeff. I see you. I see you. Jeff. Not Jeff. Not not Achu. But not you, me. Jeff. J E F F. Hi, there I was. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't sure who you were talking with, too. <laughs> Got anything um, hilarious? I have a little poem that may be hilarious, and it goes something like this. As a rule, man is a fool. When it's hot, he wants it cool. When it's cool, he wants it hot. Always wanting what is not. That's very beautiful. Thank you. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? All right, my dears. Well, does anyone else come on? Chime in if you got something. Jan. Oh. Borg. There's complete silence. Whoa. How often does that happen? Uh, all the no time. No can do. No can do. I think your mommy needs you now. So, I hate to end this. I, I really do. But there is an ending. 
that we have a traditional ending. Barbara Roland, you don't want to say anything from the from the Alps. Oh, everyone, I really enjoyed you. to see you. Wonderful all around the world. Hi, and there. It's great Goop to see balls. you. Goop balls. Everywhere. Friends everywhere. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> see you from the top from the mountains. And yeah. I see I see you and I love you. Be well. So all right. Uh, and in the end, they say the love you take is equal to the love you make. So don't forget that. And we dedicate the dismerits of this day <laughs> and send our love. This morning at the Zendo, actually, I said, here's to all the fools, including the ones that are sitting in your cush on your cushions. <laughs> Much to the shock and dismay of our Sangha. So, <laughs> but we dedicate the dismerits of this day and send love to those who have ever felt left out unheard unloved or worse mm -hmm. and the closing the closing of this is i'd like a little help with this tutu and cuckoo okay you guys can help me with this this is our life <laughs> wait a second what <laughs> this is our life this Are really? Kidding? Really? This? This no. is our life? No. 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 no! It must be something else. You gotta be kidding. No. Oh. Really? But, uh... <laughs> That's it. All right. That's it. All things have to come to an end. Mm. Yeah, they say. That's but what they say. You know, it'll, it'll linger on like, like, um... Wow. Like Looney's, like Looney's pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank, hey. thank everybody for coming today. Mainly want to yeah. thank, thank the fools. Michelle, it says here you have a new four tenants. Tenants, T-E-N-A-N-T-S. Tenants, it says. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I didn't want to bore everyone with, like, business, but we do have new four tenants. And and you'll get an update in the in the um, <laughs> triannual newsletter of the order of disorder, which never gets sent out. It, 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 says here that the, it says here that the first one is not noticing. Not noticing is the first one. The second one is bearing witless. <laughs> and and the third one is making love. Uh. And the fourth one is or not. Yeah. <laughs> and the fourth what? one applies to pretty much everything it could be the first one but they all intermix i i often hear zen teachers talk about precepts and and tenants and things like that and they go they're all mixed in you know you can't separate one from the other you know or not <laughs> <laughs> So everybody, I hope your days or nights or mornings or wh whatever you happen to be experiencing are beautiful. I actually have the police waiting for me to get out of my car because they're going to arrest me <laughs> for, for sitting in my car and impersonating a clown. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, Love to you all. Let's uh, let's everybody unmute. Let's make a lot of noise before we go go on our way. Thank you. Thank you. Go have a thank you. Go have a foolish day. Bye. 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 Bye